Hello everybody and welcome back to the Fanged One's Horizon Forbidden West Let's Play series. I am the Fanged One with you as always. And if my math is right, and once again as usual you guys know it never is. Uh, but if my math is right, this is episode 18. Uh, in the last episode we took care of the, the Gaia information drop. Uh, looked around the base a little bit, but we could really only focus on so much with the the wonky controller. So what I've decided to do is when I am up here doing this uh, and I'm just regularly just playing things like GTA or something of that nature, uh, I'm going to use the bad controller because I don't really need to be accurate if I'm just messing around. But if I'm playing this for you guys and I'm going to be putting it up on the channel, I need to at least be remotely accurate. And that fight with those Brillo backs, I should not have survived that. I'm being 100% honest. I should not have survived that. But let's go ahead and jump in. Um, we know that we need to pick up Poseidon, um, Aether, and Demeter. I believe it's Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter, I believe. Uh, and then we can go hunting down Hephaestus. Uh, it looks like the people that attacked Aloy are <clears throat> descendants of Far Zenith that faked their shuttle explosion, which I don't understand why they would do that. It's not like humanity could ever come for them. But I suppose if they didn't know Apollo had been destroyed, it would have been conceivable that humanity, upon recreation of the species, would pick up where it left off and would be able to follow them, bringing the kind of destruction Pharaoh feared with it. Um, that is something else that is interesting to me, is that Pharaoh deleted Apollo that they had technically speaking far zenith was given a completed copy of apollo that means that they'd be able to get apollo from them basically uh, which is interesting anyway let's go ahead and jump in and we will see what this episode has to offer oh Ailey, you look cold girl Okay, what kind of side quest do we have? Plain songs, hunting ground. Okay, so it looks like the main quest is the next level. Settlement, and I have to watch my step. Or they might welcome you. You never know. right in the front door. Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda. Champion of the traitor Regala. Her yes, she is. Ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. Okay. I don't need a chaplain telling you what battles to fight. The real battle is arguing with you. Hmm. Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with a hair like blood. The Outlander from the Embassy. Mm hmm You killed Greta, Regala's champion. He was one of ours. 
It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. Well, I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer is coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? You mentioned the capital gives you water. Mm -hmm. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Parts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First Sawtooths, then Ravagers. Now, a sandblasted Thunderjaw. Hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. Had to leave half my hunters behind and pen it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. I don't know how I'm going to fight a thunder draw without a percussion arrow or tear blast, as they were called. She really likes her rules and order, but you don't. I just don't like hers. I just don't like hers. Subordination. I must be dehydrated. What does that mean? It means I've survived our youth and outlived my brethren in many battles. As such. I counsel the Desert Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> you knew Regala's champion, Gruda. He was one of ours. So was Regala. Desert Clan's pride and joy. Why but... is she attacking her own people? She feels betrayed. Regala was a legend among our clan, fearless and unrelenting. A marshal to Hikaru, chief of all Tanakh. His judgment made flesh. What changed? The Karja king asked for peace, and Hikaru agreed. Regala wanted payment in kind for the atrocities the Karja committed. A Tanakh empire that would push into the east. So she challenged Hikaru's decision. He had no choice but to face her in combat. Hikaru won. She should have died by his hand then, but the chief let her live. Or Bad, not, smart, yeah, dumb decision. Mercy is a bitter drink. Now that she rides machines and murders marshals, we might not be able to ignore her camps in the desert for much longer. No one in the desert clans touching those camps. This is between Regala and Hikaru. If the chief's strong enough to lead, he'll prevail. If he doesn't, He'll make way for one who is. That's a little harsh, isn't it? So is the desert. I mean, he's not wrong. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I have something to take care of first. You go on ahead. I'll wait at the outpost for as long as I can. May the Ten protect you then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. I don't know why that voice is so familiar. The chaplain guy? I want to say he's... I want to say it's Tuvok. Sure. I'd be happy to.
This is a good place to get literally all of that. Yeah, it's the gauntlet. I don't need that. So there's nothing really as far as quest related in here. since I fought a Thunderjaw. This man just said I could do that. No, I don't think you could. It'll do a lot of damage. Yeah, how the hell do you detach it, though? That's the question. Weapons that can detach that Aloy. damn thing. You to help me hunt down those machines, I hope. Aloy, over here. Yes, I'm aware. Shut up, I will get to you. I'm hoping one of these has, um, I was hoping one of these had some kind of bow that offered the ability to tear. 
but it's not looking like any of them do. Champion killer. Well met. Oh, you came. I'm touched. You'll have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon and harvesting parts. Feel free to take any supplies you need. Our prey isn't far. I'm right behind you. This way. The sooner we get those machine hearts, the faster we'll get the water we need. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. Our so-called commander's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spears is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to fight tooth and nail to survive. And I'm um, guessing that someone is you? I'd make sure everyone gets all the water they need. No matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around We're to here. Earth? You harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we but will. that's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in and pick them off. Now we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. Hold on to any hearts you loot, and I'll take them from you later. could help here. that cannon. I will take pot shots at you if I fucking have to. Hold up, wait. Here they come. Goddamn Ravager Cannon. Them things hit so goddamn hard. Like 
I'm working on it. Shut up. I hate these fucking things. one And I am out of berries. That is not good. I know there's a Ravager up there. I'm not getting anywhere near that goddamn gun.
I am more than happy to stay down here. I am really glad that I did not have to fight a Thunderjaw, because I really thought I was going to have to fight a goddamn Thunderjaw. I suppose this would have been one way to do it, lead him around here in that blaze right there. I got lucky that it got stuck. It got stuck up there. Oh, I am running short. What the hell did I just see? Oh, uh, Ridgewood. Yeah, give me that. Too bad you can't harvest the blade, the blaze out of those little blaze containers. That would be wonderful. Carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah, at least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Oh, hold on. Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines, I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. I lost a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged too. Will you come with me? Lead the way. Glad to have you along. God damn it. I was really wanting to avoid fighting a fucking Thunderjaw. Say, will you come the hell on? To think, so many have to die just to get water. Did you try talking to your commander at Scalding Spear? <sighs> Please, the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn. About that, wouldn't mind having yours on my side if it ever came to it. I'm just passing through, Draka. Uh, can't blame me for trying. Because it sounds like what you're trying to stage is a coup. And Aelo, Aelo would want no part in you staging a coup. This is it. Where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I'm sorry, Draka. They were warriors to the end. We should get started. Oh, so those are two different, those are actually two different throwers. Someone's alive. By the rocks. It's 
Speak sense, soldier. Burrowers. Looks like we got a fight on our hands. God damn it. I meant to hit that just before he reached me. What the hell is an Apex Burrower? Like, what the hell's the difference? Scraping at my armor. That's new. I didn't realize they could do that. That's new. Are you really just going to stand there? Apparently not. supposed ravagers that are everywhere because I don't see any. Yeah, I don't see any ravagers anywhere. So much for you drawing its fire fuck's sake.
so much for him keeping the thunder jaws attention i can't use the thing if i'm constantly having to move and jump around You don't get this thing off of me. Holy shit, I brought down a thunder jaw. Well, this will do. I should check on Draka and that soldier. Oh, that doesn't look good. I will get to that soldier after I've looted all the healing plants that are in this general area. God damn, that really does not look good. I feel bad I just did that. That, thing was, that little thing was adorable. I'm 
rough parchment scribbled with cipher code. Conjourned, conjourned, conjourned. That speckled slab of slag has beaten us to the site and cleared the salvage six times in a row. I'm going to put everything into code from now on. Okay, that's some kind of weird code. Got it. Okay, now we've actually, now we're getting somewhere. I had three with no backup, and now I've got ten with a full backup. I brought this on it. I didn't think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Ah. Uh, I know I'm racking up favors here, but, uh... Did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy. You're welcome. Ooh, hold up. Mm -hmm. You fill my patch with these later. Holy shit, I actually got it in better. <clears throat> I was not expecting to be able to do that. There are so many more animals now. Where'd the bird go? I want to know where the fuck the hawk went. I know I shot the fucker. Hmm. Strong smell. Huh. Weird. I wouldn't be able to get the fucker up there anyway. Let's go around the Ravager. So I don't have to fight the fucker again. The shit. Be careful not to let this stain my hands. Ah, uh, it's for dying, right? Definitely don't sound like others. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders are following. Oh, easy there. 
Actually, no, I'm okay with that. I'll let y'all fight it out. You know, I wasn't intending to actually have you fight them, but, Are the trees getting in your way? The sandstorm's giving its all. There you go. Machine riders from before. The ones we were racing. What are they up to? They're probably racing, Aloy. What the fuck do you think? It, what does it look like? You've returned. Where's Draka? He's helping a Just fallen a soldier back. Need some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a thunder jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here, something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to scalding spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? Sure. Rumors have made their way west. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the old ones. Uh huh. That's one way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan. But our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. Okay. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding Spear. I'm okay. guessing... I'm guessing there's some kind of an old world dam issue. Good. The entire clan might depend on it. All right, let's do some skill points. Ah, uh, survivor. OK. 
Okay, higher defense when critically injured. Okay. Carry more medicine. There we go. That's what I need. How many of these do I have left? Five. Could be interesting. I don't even know what half the stuff does, to be honest with you. I'm going to have to learn this shit the hard way. Alright. So guys, that's going to go ahead and do it for us for uh, episode 18. I will see you guys in the next episode for episode 19. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Later. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> valor surges are extremely powerful, rare abilities that can instantly turn the tide of a fight. Build up your Valor surge bar and unleash this ultimate power. Earn Valor through the tactical gameplay, and when a segment of the Valor Surge bar is full, activate the Valor Surge by opening the weapon's wheel and tapping that. Okay. Additional levels of the Valor Surge in the skill tree to add segments to the Valor Surge bar and gain extra effects. Okay. So I don't know exactly what... Oh, hold on. Does that actually throw things down? That actually does slow things down. Interesting. That's That could be used to my advantage. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one. Until then, take it easy, everybody. Later.